The Battle of Gilan Luzho, also known as the Battle of Gilia, was one of the 22 major engagements between the National Revolutionary Army and Imperial Japanese Army during the Second Sino-Japanese War. This battle was the third of the three-part Battle of Henan Hunan Guangxi, also known as Operation Ichigo. As part of the operation, a major aim of this attack was to connect the pieces of Japanese-held territory, and also, to destroy air bases in the area which were housing USAAF aircraft. In August, after battles in Hunan and Guangdong, the 11th and 23rd armies of the IJA launched attacks towards Gilin and Luzho, respectively. The NRA troops defending the area were mainly the remnants from the Battle of Heng Yang, and therefore, only 20,000 troops were at Gilin on 1 November when the Japanese started their attack on the city. The government of China knew that it would not be able to hold Gilin, but deliberately extended the battle for domestic political reasons, sending food and supplies to the besieged. Most civilians fled weeks before from Gilin, which was scorched heavily by fire. Gilin had been reinforced with defenses, pillboxes, barbed wire, and the Guangxi troops under the command of Muslim General Bai Chongxi. General Joseph Stilwell, who was friendly with Bai, went to great pains to send American munitions to Bai's forces. Trenches were dug and mined the hills. After ten days of intense fighting, the Japanese occupied Gilin, and on the same day entered Luzho as well. Fighting continued sporadically as Chinese forces made their rapid retreat. And on 24 November the Japanese were in control of 75 counties in Guangxi, roughly two-thirds its area, and are said to have killed 215,000 civilians in reprisal and during crossfire, wounding more than 431,000. Evaluation After Gillen and Lu's Ho were lost, most NRA troops lost morale and retreated without ever engaging the enemy resulting in tremendous loss of materiel and manpower. In addition, despite substantial air superiority provided by USAAF and NRA aircraft, the Chinese did not utilize these advantages effectively and lost battles in mere days, making this one of the most devastating losses during the entire Second Sino-Japanese War. However, despite having destroyed the air bases in this region, the USAAF could still strike at the Japanese main islands from their other bases. Although the Japanese partially accomplished the goals of Operation Achigo, it increased the area that Japanese troops had to defend, and substantially thinned out their lines, setting up a favorable situation for subsequent counterattacks by Chinese forces.